knows? Maybe I'll be back for my wedding here. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I should because I love the culture so much. I feel like Nepal has such a rich culture. If Nepal gets to the top five or gets the win the crown, um, I'm gonna feel like I was part of something something new. I think that Nepal has everything that it needs. It's just a matter of supporting each other. Nepali, uh, Nepali women are always very beautiful. Okay? Uh, Why not? I mean, <laughs> I've always wanted to come to Nepal. Uh, I lost my mom when I was very young. I was 16 years old and my uncle, who happens to be a gay man, always wanted to come here. It's that side of the spirituality that you get to feel and live here in Nepal. And obviously the food, I mean the food here is amazing. I'm in Nepal, I need to wear a sari. Yeah. We have also visited uh, Pasupati Temple. Ms. Valentina, first of all, welcome to Nepal. Thank you so much. So how's Nepal treating you? Incredible, I actually don't want to leave yet. Uh, we have our flight back to China tonight, uh, but it has definitely been seven incredible days. I had always wanted to come to Nepal, and like I said during the press conference, it really exceeded my expectations. Everybody has been so welcoming, so I cannot wait to come back. Okay. So have you, you know, wandered around or you have looked at any views or any places you have been to? Yes, definitely. We went to a few temples. Maybe you guys can help me with the names of the place that we have visited. Yes, we have visited now Bhaktapur Dorbar Square uh, and we have also visited uh, Pasupati Temple. Uh, and uh, what else? Actually, About you just the, meet the valley, yes. not the yes. No, yes. 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 yes, no, we have a few meetings. Chandra so. Giri, Chandra Giri Hills. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and both the stupa and yesterday nice. alexander and i decided to go walk around and we ended up in getting to a bazaar that's uh, very close to here it was like a little market well not little it was huge and we ended up walking around for five hours because there were so many things to see um we took so many pictures and videos so it has been such a good week um like i said i feel like nepal has such a rich culture and i hope that more people get to enjoy it so we have two uh, strong women yes. who organize this. <laughs> so how about uh, the first time you, you know when you first met them, so how was your experience meeting them? It's been incredible. I am so happy to be part of the beginning of this new era of Miss Universe Nepal 2024. I'm excited to see young women who are entrepreneurs being the face of organization, organizations such as Miss Universe, in this case Miss Universe Nepal. I think that this team has so many ideas and has a mission and a vision that will take them very, very far. Uh, obviously, I am just so excited for Miss Universe 2024 because uh, now I feel that if Nepal gets to the top five or gets the, we the crown, yeah. um, I'm gonna feel like I was part of something, something new, something that helped showcase the beauty that Nepal has. So, uh, you know, uh, we in Nepal have uh, you know, participated in lots of beauty places mm -hmm. internationally. Yes. But unfortunately, we have uh, never been uh, able to bring back that uh, crown back home. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, if we Nepalese, uh, you know, what does the Nepalese women have to do to bring that mm -hmm. crown home? Honestly, you know, the thing about pageantry is that it really is about luck. Because if you had a different panel of judges on a different day, maybe the results would be different. So it really has nothing to do with you as a person, as a woman, as a candidate. Sometimes it's not in your hands to do everything, but what's in your hands is the preparation and in the hands of the team is the preparation that they give the woman that's gonna represent Nepal. So I think that Nepal has everything that it needs. It's just a matter of supporting each other and taking the time to truly get into what it means to get ready for to be Miss Universe. Yeah. Because it really goes beyond the external beauty. There is the social project aspect of it. That's something that needs a lot, uh, a lot of work. Um, there's the part of getting ready for the interview with the judges, which is actually a huge part of the competition. Um, it's also a lot of work on your security, how confident you are, the energy that other people feel when you walk into the room. So it's an overall beauty and an overall preparation that you need to achieve. But I'm very sure that with this team and with the support of all the international alliances that they have now, they're gonna achieve it. 
so obviously sang this. So how did you guys, uh, you know, approach her? How did you guys manage to invite her to Nepal? Exam is hard, you know. So I know. So I'm just an international connection. So or just exam is I'm just like. My the past six years, ma, as a beauty film, I've been doing a lot of work. So to currently, God, I'm doing international relations. So I'm just like 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 I'm just like
beauty patients and all. Uh, uh, we have uh, read in one of your article that uh, because of your foster parents, they were both gay, having strongly being an, being an advocate for the LGBTQ community. Yes. So, uh, you know, legally we are also here in Nepal also, it's mm -hmm. been accepted, uh, you know, gay marriages are acceptable this, uh, this time right now. Yeah. So, uh, do you have uh, any plans to work in that aspect as well? God, I would love to. Um, so, a little bit about myself. I lost my mom when I was very young. I was 16 years old. And my uncle, who happens to be a gay man, who is married to another guy who became my uncle, um, they pretty much adopted me since I was 16 years old. And up at that point, um, I had always seen the LGBT community as something normal. But when I moved in with them and they took me in as a daughter, was when I realized all the difficulties that the community still faces. And that's when I decided to utilize the platforms that pageantry has given me to speak up for the community that has given me so much love. So every time I have an opportunity to speak about that experience and to speak up for the members of that community who still today in 2024 face discrimination because of who they choose to love, um, I do it. And of course, if I get the chance to do something related to that here in Nepal, I would love to. struggle <laughs> Thank you. Uh, really so beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Uh, how tough has it been really for you being a universal woman and also getting with the crown and the response that you've been taking out hmm. for so long time? Um, I, I, mean, I, I wouldn't say it has been tough because it was a goal that I worked for for so many years. Like I said during the press conference, I started doing pageants when I was 15 years old. And I always understood the responsibility that came with the crown. I think that's something that many women who choose to compete need to understand. It's not just you know a hobby. Once you win the crown, you have a job. You have a responsibility that you must fulfill for an entire year. So I was very clear on that. Uh, of course, my personal life has taken a seat uh, on the side during this year because there's so much to do as the first title holder of Universal Woman. Uh, but it has been such an incredible year. I've met incredible people all over the world. I've had the chance to visit uh, 10 countries in 11 months and learn about so many different cultures. So it has definitely been worth it. So how has the coaches, the, the learning that uh, during the time period of learning mm. during the training period how that had really helped you being the winner as well yeah when people ask me how did you prepare for universal woman i always say that it was something that happened with years and years of experience it's not like i decided two months before universal woman to start doing the job i think it's something that i started with my first pageant when i was 15 years old it's an accumulation of experiences of lessons that you get along the way uh, but of course every time you choose to compete in a pageant especially if it's a different system you need to understand what that organization is looking for so in this case the slogan for universal woman is a new era of beauty and they put a lot of emphasis on the social aspect of it which is something that i've always really liked so my question to alexander uh, sir firstly welcome to you as well so how do you really like nepal well, in Nepal, Nepal is a, eh, es como un tesoro escondido. Yeah, it's, it's like a hidden treasure. Yeah. Oh. Esa, eh, esta semana ha sido bellísima. It has been a beautiful week. Ca cada persona que hemos conocido, uno siente el corazón. Yeah, every energía. person that we've met, you feel the energy in the heart. Y la comida, deliciosa. And the food is delicious. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, what sort of uh, participants are you really expecting and what uh, of 
lot of getting with a lot of trainings and been making all the winners worldwide. And come to even come to know from the organizers that the Venezuela has been uh, even entitled a lot of title holders. So, what do you really think about the woman who will be taking part in this contest, uh, Miss Universe Nepal? Uh, would really see you being a winner from your side? Yo creo que nada es imposible. I don't think there's anything impossible in life. Si nos organizamos como ya estamos organizados con, con estos nuevos empresarios que tienen una visión y una misión. Yeah. If we plan and organize ourselves with this new team who has a vision and a mission. Entonces, ahí ya el otro factor sería conseguir buenas candidatas que, que quieran ganar. The que other no... factor is to find women candidates who truly want to win and to put in the work. Yo, mi, mi meta ahora mismo es no coronar una, a una Miss Nepal. Mi meta es coronar a una Miss Universo Nepal. His goal right now is not just to crown a Miss Universe Nepal. His goal right now is to crown the next Miss Universe. Uh, cuando preparé a Amelia Vega, Miss Universo 2003. When he prepared Amelia Vega, Miss Universe 2003. Eh, Dominican Republic es una isla pequeña. Dominican Republic is a very small island. Que comparte al lado de, ta, de, ta, de Haití, uno de los países más pobres de América. Who shares borders with Haiti, one of the most uh, countries with the most uh, poverty. Pero la riqueza de las personas tiene que estar en su mente y su corazón con las ganas. But the richness of people has to be in their minds and in their hearts. Si tú tienes, si tú tienes ganas de hacer cosas maravillosas con tus buenas intenciones. Yeah, if you want to achieve agarrar. beautiful things with good intentions, you can do it. Eh, ahora, ahora mismo eh, estoy muy pero muy feliz de ser parte del team. Right now I'm very happy to be part of the team. Voy a ofrecer todo lo mejor de mi experiencia. I'm going to give the best of, from my experience. Voy a tener a Valentina en la parte de comunicación en inglés. I will have Valentina on the part of communication and speeches in English. Para que la, la Miss Nepal tenga una excelente entrevista. So Miss Nepal can do a wonderful job during the interviews. Yeah. Cuando tú hablas con tu verdad desde adentro. When you speak from your truth. La gente la, y, y, y muestra, muestra tu sonrisa, tu mirada. And you show your smile, you show the most genuine version of yourself. Puedes abrir mentes y corazones. Yeah, you can get to the minds and the hearts of people. El trabajo no es aquí, el trabajo es con ustedes también. Yeah, the work is not just from this side, it's also with all of you. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. So Thank you. Thank you.